Hey guys, this is Doug Jessup with ABC4 News, and uh, with me is a gentleman by the name of Brian Gutierrez. Uh, Brian, things were a little crazy over the weekend. Uh, tell me, what'd you do for the weekend? And do you want to take your, I, I, we're doing the COVID thing, but I need to know that you're actually talking. Can we take your mask off? It's me. Okay, there he is. Okay, it's <laughs> me. Okay, so Brian, tell me what, So, um, you live, where do you live? Downtown Salt Lake. Okay, and uh, just out of curiosity, what were you doing this weekend? Just doing a lot of things. I hung out, I slept in, I took my dog out. But aside from that, I went to the downtown protest right by our library and city county building this Saturday and was there firsthand. And, um, when you say firsthand, what, what happened? What did you see? I mean, I got there a little later than when it originally started. I got there around 2.33, and what I saw were people exercising their First Amendment right, um, protesting. When I got there, there was a big crowd outside the library. Uh, vehicles turned over, patrol cars turned over on fire. It was pretty, pretty toast be honest. Um, you know, people were upset, people were frustrated, uh, people were voicing their voice. And I was there mostly because I know that communities are hurting. I know that there has been some uh, injustice, unfairness. Um, communities black and brown have been treated differently and so they're, they're expressing that and I wanted to show my solidarity so I was there to support that. Okay, now you'd mentioned something about Black Lives Matter and uh, versus supporting the, the police. How, how would you explain that? Yeah, I think there's a big misunderstanding that if you're if you support the Black Lives Matter that you're anti-cop and that's just not the case. So I wanted to make that clear is that, you know, I do support Black Lives Matter and I have friends who are police officers. I know their parents who are police officers and they're my good friends. And I know that they're good people because I've interacted with them many, many years of my life. And, you know, I'm, it's not an anti-cop movement. So please don't think that. Okay. And then um, what do you think was accomplished? By the, by the meetings that were held this weekend? What do I think was accomplished? I think Salt Lake joined in in showing solidarity across the nation that things need to change in our justice system. Things need to change how specific communities are treated, treated unfairly. Um, I think Sometimes I don't know what to think, and that's just being honest. What, did, uh, what was your reaction to the, uh, the vandalism and the, the, the burning of the, of the police car and things of that nature? Well, so I live downtown, and uh, my dog and I walk around all the time, and it was, I was really saddened to see all the vandalism on the buildings and stuff. Um, I love our city. I love Salt Lake, like many of our, many people here do. And so it made me sad to see that. Um, but I can understand people's frustration. I do, I'm not gonna tell them what's right or wrong, but it did make me sad to see that vandalism up on the city buildings and stuff. And you know, there's, yeah. <laughs> well, Brian, thanks for your time. With another entry into Jessup's Journal and Brian Gutierrez, I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News.